Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Handmade. Today we're going to be using the bread machine and we're going to make something called tea cakes. Over in the UK, <laughs> sorry about that, that's my washer letting out its waters. Just ignore it. There we go again. <laughs> so, tea cakes. Um, we usually have them toasted. The lightly spiced rolls with um, sultanas and raisins in. We usually have them sliced in half, toasted and then loaded with butter. So what you're going to need for this is your bread machine, obviously. 450 grams of strong white bread flour. You're going to need to warm your milk until it's lukewarm. And you need 280 mils. Then you need to put in that milk three tablespoons of butter so it can melt. Then into your bread machine you need one teaspoon of salt so that's gone in that's just salt then you need where is it 40 grams of caster sugar one teaspoon of cinnamon ah do I have a teaspoon here yeah there we go sorry for the washing machine timed that wrong didn't I really then you can into the milk you're going to have add one and a half teaspoons and I use High activity instant dry yeast. So it's baker's quality. So I put one and a half teaspoons into the milk. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar. Into there. Then I'm going to add 110 grams of 55 grams of sultanas and 55 grams of currants. You can use 110 grams of one or the other. It really doesn't matter. And then all I've got left to put in is my milk mixture, which is here with the yeast in and the butter. Just give that a stir. Pour it in. In. and we're going to pull this down set it mine is number eight the dough cycle and let it do its business so once that's completed its business of mixing it up kneading it letting it rise we'll come back and do the next one next part hopefully the wash is finished by then Hi, welcome back guys. So the bread machine has done its job, so I'm just going to empty this out onto a floured surface if it wants to come out. There we go. Any left? Nope, that's pretty good. I am absolutely rubbish, I will admit. It rolling out the bread rolls absolutely the worst there is so I'm not even going to attempt to I do not possess those types of skills but I do possess a cutter so that's what I'll use 
So I've got a cheek pad here, lined, ready to put these on. No rolling pin necessary, just use your hand, knock some of the air out. Don't forget these are going to prove again just until they've doubled in size on the baking tray covered with a dry clean tea towel. So let's see what we get first round. Because these are fresh, fresh, and they've got no preservatives in, like the shop bought ones, you only they're only going to last a couple of days maximum. But in this house, we don't have to worry about that because they'll be gone in the morning for breakfast. So, so all you're looking for is a round shape. Like a tea cake and just plonk it onto your lined sheet. Next, put the pen so that they will be touching during the baking process. It gives, gives you more. If you have to pull them apart, it gives you more softer, softer edges rather than them all the way around. And these guys, if you make them, you will see how, just how soft this is. Then get that off. Or maybe pull that again and then pull it off. There we go. Another one. So that's four I've got on there. Number five. So I'm going to bring this dough together and go for a round two. I mean, there's going to be some of these out there that can roll really nice. Bread balls, bread buns. I'm not that person. I have tried. And I've tried many different techniques of doing it. But I'm useless. So I'll stick to this. They turn out good enough for us to eat. That's all that matters to us. So I want another one for this sheet pan. I'm wondering actually, will I get another one? Move them down a bit. Yeah, don't need another sheet pan. I will show you in a minute what I've done. When you've got all these onto your tray, you're going to cover them with a dry tea towel. Just allow them to double in size. Some's going to rise more than others. Once they've doubled in size, all you need to do. Oh, I'm going to have to free on this one. As you can see, I just can't. I watch these women from Azerbaijan. I watch their channels. Met, Be Met Bex Vespateri. I know I've just mangled the name of that, but. I apologise, but that lady, she, she is so good with bread, it's unreal. I guess it's just a culture thing because they make it all the time. Whereas we nip to the shops and don't borrow sort of thing. But she's so clever. Anyway. See how good these are, guys. Put that for a clean up. 
bin is there. Straight in. No worries. Just a spray and a wipe. Go into the washer. So guys, out let go. As you can see, different in size. There's me oddball with me bits at the end. But there's four of us. Two of them are children. So they'll eat one apiece. Maybe two each for the adults. A couple of spares if someone wants one later. So, like I said, we'll leave this now. And just cover it. Just loosely cover it. With a towel. And put it in a warm area of, it, area of the kitchen. And then I'll be back. To show you the doubled in size part, I'm giving them an egg coating and how long to put it in the oven. Okay guys. Right guys, so these have now doubled in size. All I'm going to do is beat up an egg. and put it across the top try not to get it down the sides because that stops it from rising in the oven so try your best to just get it on the top just like that I'm going to bake these for 20 minutes in the centre of the oven, gas mic 5. Now, your oven may well be convection, mine is not. It could be a range, an arga, you get the idea. Everyone's oven is different. So, give it 15 minutes, just check them, make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Um, if they're not, put them back in for another 5 and just keep putting back in for another five until you feel that they've risen up, they're nicely browned and you think that they're well cooked. I'll be back to show you after. Okay. Right guys, 20 minutes mine took in the oven. As you can see, they have risen a lot. So I'm not going to touch these. I'm going to allow these to cool. But what you do is, well, what I would do is, Cut them in half, toast them, and then put a lot of butter on them. You could put butter and jam, any preserve you like on them. Give them a try, let me know what you think in the comments. The, the bread machine does everything for you, they're so easy to make. They'll last a couple of days, but they freeze very well too. So if you like, give me leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to. Leave a hit the like button and thanks again for watching Mummy Cooks Homemade. Bye.